the morning after the night before. A solitary gritter makes its way past abandoned vehicles on the A23. With spring just around the corner, this was what some commuters faced this morning. After snow hit Sussex yesterday afternoon, a simple 20-mile journey became a five-hour test of endurance. When you're in the middle of winter, people sort of hopefully do prepare themselves, but actually we're in March heading towards Easter and, and probably people hadn't, hadn't certainly expected to be facing, you know, going to work uh, and it being quite pleasant and coming home in, in what was dire circumstances. And it wasn't just the locals affected. Around 120 German exchange students were stranded in Hastings in sub-zero temperatures. We tried to accommodate the students wherever we could and luckily we very kindly were offered a town hall where they slept for one night and made most of it. Once more, snow brings transport to a halt in Sussex. But it seems to be the state of the roads that have caused the main problems. Some are saying that had they been gritted sufficiently, it wouldn't have been such an issue. One care home manager in St Leonard's says he didn't see any sign of gritting. I passed seven ambulances with the lights going for emergencies. Um, there wasn't one gritter anywhere. But East Sussex Highways say they have proof the gritters were out there. Our gritters are tracked. We can absolutely prove that we were out and we have been for 36 hours. So um, we, we've done as much as we possibly can do. And uh, if that's a perception, then, then I'm sorry, but we absolutely were out there. While the snow may have melted in the afternoon sunshine, but tonight drivers face the danger of ice on the roads, trusting the gritters have been out today. Georgina Burnett, BBC South East Today, Ringmer.